Okay, Scorpio, we seriously need to have a conversation. Like, what? You can't understand me? Oh, okay. What? One, one second. Okay, is that better? Okay, yeah. I, I figured it would be. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Why love superficially? We can go from hello to epitome. Manifest in destinies and shit. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your August mid-month reading. It's going to be quick. It's general. The intention that I set for all signs is that what is most important comes out in this reading. And so the same for you, my wonderful Scorpio people. <sighs> I'm not on 100, so I don't have any funny jokes to make fun of you guys this time. Even though a part of me feels like I should put my... Uh, my little Scorpio snippet in front of this. I feel like I should and I might. So I love y'all. I like teasing you guys. You want to hear a funny joke that I told Cancers? I said a little known secret about tarot is that all of the cups cards are filled with cancer tears. That's funny, right? I know. I thought so too. But I love Cancers just like I love you guys. What are they? They're so awesome. So I'm going to shuffle your cards just a few more times and then we're going to lay out a general spread and see what is going on with you guys for your mid-August. I may have said this already. I've been repeating myself lots of times. Whatever. Um, your Witchamadinkies. As if you knew what Witchamadinkies are. Your September love reads are coming up um, soon after these. So this is going to be a pretty quick reading. We won't be here too, too long. Which will probably be a first. <laughs> Especially after those lives. Oh my gosh. All them suckers are like an hour long. I feel like I energy vamp myself. All right. Let's see hither. Oh. All right. All right, Scorpio. Central energy challenge. <clears throat> what is behind you? What is before you? what is above you and what is below you so our central energy is the seven of wands standing your ground standing up for what you believe in mm. now this is funny when i was shuffling y'all cards before um before i uh turned the camera on the tower card fell out the king of swords and uh the strength card and this is funny that this is back again <laughs> So your challenge is the tower. You guys, past influence is the queen of swords. So you probably got both of them in your life. Your below energy is the page of wands. Your above energy is the justice card. And your outcome card is the nine of cups filled with cancer tears. <laughs> How appropriate. So here is the deal, my dear. So central energy with you guys standing your ground and standing up for what you believe in and this is funny because i always wonder this about this card never looked at it this way i considered it when i was looking at it one day but now it becomes very relevant if you look at the seven of wands in the original rider weight it's the guy who's standing up on the hill and you can't see the people it's like you just see their wands right um and in the after terror home dude like jump down now with the seven of wands and the original rider weight deck the meaning of that is like having the upper hand it's like you're standing your grind and you're fighting for what you believe in but you have the upper hand because you're at a higher vantage point so you can see more than they see now the only problem that i see with this is is you kind of stoop down to these people's level so where you had an advantage it's like now you kind of disadvantage yourself by stooping down to these people's level. So now it's like your eye level with them and you're fighting them in the same way that they were fighting you. Now, the question becomes, why is it that you would do that, right? Now, with your challenge being the tower, this is kind of telling me like, I feel like, okay, Cause I'm looking at this queen of swords. I feel almost like you were, uh, and those cards came up in Capricorn's reading too, but it's like, I feel almost like you were forewarned about this. So I don't know if it's people that you were dealing with. And let me say it like this. So we don't get all like 
pie in the sky out there. Simply put, it's like you are who you hang around, right? So the people that you have in your life or the people that you you spend your time with, I don't want to say like birds of a feather flock together because it's not the same kind of concept, but it's more or less like uh, people rub off on you, right? So if you're around a lot of uh, like low vibe people and like say you're high vibe or higher vibe, right? and you're around a lot of low vibe people over time, it's like it starts to kind of rub off on you to where you come down to their level where your eye level, like what I'm seeing in the seven of wands. And I feel like you were kind of forewarned about that and you knew better, but it's not, I don't know. I, it's almost like you got caught up in something. So I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like work related. I don't know if, uh, my battery's dying. I don't know if this is work related. I don't know if this is love related. But um, it just feels to me like like you got caught up in the moment because that's the only way I can see old dude jumping down. Like he was standing his ground, standing up for what he believed in. But it's like he got so caught up in the moment that he legit like jumped without thinking that he's losing his uh, his vantage point, so to speak. And where I'm saying, I feel like you were forewarned about this. I feel like you were forewarned about this by a, uh, like a, uh, air sign female, but I feel like she's older. And like the thing that I heard when I looked at it was like a, like wisdom. So it's like a, a wise woman. So I don't know if it's like your granny, you know, or if your mom is older, but I feel like you were kind of like you were literally forewarned about this, but you just kind of got caught up in emotion and didn't think, or you got just kind of swept into something. I have no idea what this is talking about, but it's like you got swept into something. And um, now like the whole thing is, is like not trying to save face, you know? So it's kind of like, because uh, I don't even want to call it a misstep because it's like, it. it if we were to use the terminology as a misstep, it's not really a misstep because it's like, even though you got caught up into this, right? And you stoop to these people's level, it's like, I feel like this was for your good in the sense that what seemed like a bad thing is inadvertently going to turn into a good thing. So you jumping off of your vantage point and getting in the midst of all of this chaos is actually going to turn out to be a good thing and why? is because of this tower it's like i'll say it like this this was never supposed to be your hill <laughs> right so okay if i were to thank you spirit because i don't like talking about like ambiguous stuff so this is like okay and this has been a theme going on too so this is like your hill okay hypothetically because everyone might not relate to this but listen to the essence of it but your hill would be if um, you went to dentistry school. I love these analogies. <laughs> you went to dentistry school, right? And you became a bomb ass dentist. Okay. And you have like the best dentist office in your town. That's your hill. Right. So then you have like all of these other people that are coming up that are open up dentist office and they're talking smack about your dentist office. Right. So you beat the crap out of them. <laughs> right. Literally with a wand. All right. So you beat up all of these people. People think, oh my gosh, this person is so terrible. You know what I'm saying? And you have to shut down your, your you know, dentist practice, right? But the reason why it's not a bad thing is because you never wanted to be a dentist in the first place. You was just doing what you thought you were supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So because you have to shut down this dentist office and now you got to move to another town, now you get to pursue the thing that it is that you've really wanted in the first place and say that's being an attorney, you know, whatever. I don't know anything. It could be literally anything. So not necessarily saying that this reading is for a whole bunch of Scorpio dentists out there. It could be for a dentist. I don't know. I'm very jealous of dentists. Y'all make a lot of money, man. I should have probably went to dentistry school. Anywho. Um, but it's you guys now going out in search of what it is that you really want. So it's almost like you seeming like you took a step back. That step back is going to propel you forward now. 
because you are going to go into what it is that's truly going to make you happy. Something that's going to make you feel fulfilled and feel abundant, right? So this is actually the best misstep <laughs> that one can literally make, right? So, um, and I do feel like the timing of all of this, because like seeing this tower and then seeing um, uh, the justice card above it, it's like I see this in kind of two ways in the sense that um, um, whatever step it is that you made, because um, I really legit feel like um, I kind of get the vibe maybe. I don't know. Okay, let me, and this is going to be for a small number of people. You may have done something illegal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like forgery or I don't know if stealing or something. It's like you you did something and this is like for a small number of people like doing something that's completely out of your character. So I don't know if you got caught up with the wrong group of people and you ended up in some type of, I don't know, embezzlement type of stuff or something of the sort. Like if it is something that's serious and it does feel like your life is falling apart, like if it's on that end of something that's like super drastic, um, it's like the judgment that was made in all of this was fair in a physical sense and in a spiritual sense. So if there is a consequence for your actions, that's it's it's fair because you do the crime, you do the time kind of thing. Right. But even though this does seem like your world is kind of falling apart, it's not. It's like it's a life that was never intended to belong to you that is falling apart so that the life that you are supposed to live that's in alignment with your true higher self can come together. Right. So um, it's you no longer like serving this false idol of a life, you know, because it was it was hella stagnant. It's like. All of this falling apart is literally the best thing that could possibly happen to you because I feel like this life was vacant and and soulless and stagnant and just going through the motions. And it's like life, happiness and fulfillment, um, like it fled a very, very, very long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really feel like you guys were happy with the way that things were going, but just know that this like and it's not making the best the best out of I was thinking of a really good colloquialism there but I was like no it's not making the best out of a bad situation it's just out of the absolute what seems to be the worst situation something that is really good is going to come out of and the really good is something that's more in line uh, can't talk the thing that is more in alignment with your authentic self okay so don't feel victimized. Don't feel like it's not fair or anything of the sort, because I do see like a direct correlation in the sense that whatever the consequence was, it was fair for what it is that um, whatever it is you did. <clears throat> I mean, you ain't got to say in the comments what you did, but, you know, I'm nosy. So I want to know how this fits into you guys real live Scorpio because I mean it does sound kind of heavy it's like I'm feeling it on two different sides where it is something where it could be something as simple as like an argument and you got out of character and you I don't know cussed your church members out or something like that it could be something like that or it could be something as serious as like you know you broke the law so it's it's you feeling like you took a step down but the thing I'm seeing that's most important to gain from all of this is the fact that this vantage point that you guys were standing at was never intended to belong to you and seeing it the same thing as the tower because if you look at a tower it's super super high in the sky you have a high vantage point but it was never intended to belong to you not in the sense that you don't deserve it but it's just in the fact that it was keeping you trapped you're you were like Rapunzel on some stuff you know what I'm saying so all of this is setting you free so um, it may feel like this situation is putting you into bondage, but it's actually setting you free. So if we look at, um, what the queen of pentacles does as a personified figure, she has keen perspective, much like how the justice card has keen judgment. So this is you possessing both of these. It's having keen, clear, precise perception and the ability to make 
clear and precise judgments about situations, right? So that is kind of what's going to kick in for you guys. And I think once the emotion kind of clears with this situation and, you know, it's never in the beginning when, you know, less than stellar stuff kind of happens. It's kind of hard for us to see that, but I believe soon enough you guys are going to start to see that this literally was the best thing that happened for you because it got you, it freed you from a life that wasn't ever intended to be yours. So no more living a lie, okay? But Scorpios, please tell me what this is about because I am so curious because I think that's as, that's literally as concrete as I could get with it. So that kind of lets me know that the soul essence of what I'm saying, like the framework, it could fit a myriad of different scenarios. But just because it sounds so heavy, like y'all let me know. But if you don't feel comfortable saying it in the comments, just hit me up an email. You know? So I'm going to pull you guys Oracle. And we have Just Ask. There, oh, let me show it to you first. Okay. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. So for those of you who may find yourself like in the midst of this tumultuousness, and you guys need a little bit more clarity, you tuning into spirit is going to be of utmost importance to you, and it's going to be extremely um helpful for you and guiding you so whatever it is that you want to um that you want to know or that you're curious about um seek your guides seek spirit your angels ancestors you know whatever your cup of tea is and um it will offer you further assistance or hit me up for a personal reading because this is extra extra heavy i hate to just leave y'all like that but um you know, hit me up, Scorpio. Let me know what's uh, going on with this. I hope it's not like, you know, anything super, super serious or as bad as it seems. I don't need none of y'all going to jail. I don't think they have YouTube in prisons. Well, I mean, people do be sneaking phones in jail, but let me stop. I'll see you guys in September. I love your face, Scorpio. Deuces. <laughs> Actually.